So yeah. with the Storm Prediction Center saying a derecho is likely across portions of the Northern Plains, we want to spend a little bit of time unpacking what that means. We have Fox Weather Meteorologist Craig Barrera joining us now, uh, taking a little bit of time to really get into what exactly is a derecho and why we can't we can, uh, turn the other way when we hear that language, Craig. It's tough, right? And you guys have been talking about these severe thunderstorm warnings, tornado warnings, and we could see all of this again this afternoon, my friend, Marissa. Let's break down derecho because it is a long event and it is a lot that goes on. This is from Iowa back in August 10th, 2020, and the winds causing visibility issues, power outages are always a concern with derechos. Derechos can form and they can be going on for hundreds of miles. And just look at that. You can't even make out the road there. This is a tough situation that you don't want to be caught up in. And with these storms picking up this afternoon and the verbiage coming out of the Storm Prediction Center, first line out of the gate this morning was derecho possible. So this is the concern. Look at the power of the winds and the water here. Let's break it down because you're talking about a widespread, long-lived wind event associated with thunderstorms, right? You've got these wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or greater, which is severe, the severe category. And look at the stretch, a 400-mile damage swath. We've got some wind reports, three high wind reports of at least 75 miles per hour or greater. We had some wind reports yesterday coming in, about 60 to 70. Now, today's event, completely different. You've got those strong winds in the upper levels. And a lot of this happens over an area of high pressure, which we have been dealing with right now. You throw in a jet on top of that, these storms move quick and fast. So when you get these severe thunderstorm warnings or tornado warnings, you may not have time to move. you got to get to your safe spot immediately. Treat a thunderstorm warning like a tornado warning because a lot of the winds and all of the energy, all of that energy getting sucked up and the air goes up into these storms, it cools, condenses, and you got a lot of rain that just comes out of it. As it comes down, a lot of strong winds come out of these storms and those Winds start to form some bow, bow echoes. And when you hear us talk about the bow echo, you've got that little bit of a bend in these thunderstorms, and that creates a lot of strong winds, those uniform winds all going in the same direction for quite a distance. It can extend 60 miles and go for 400 miles. So this is a long event in some cases. And when we're talking about timing for today, you're talking 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, possibly about 11 p.m. tonight. So look at these wind gusts. And we've seen this. This is the time of year when we get it over that area of high pressure. Night, uh, this goes back to July 5th, 2022. Look at these winds in Howard. We had 99 mile per hour winds here. Here's what we've got. Like today, a couple of clusters of wind. You start to see some of these clusters form, these MCSs. They come together, and then you've got these well-defined bow echoes. There's that MCS, which we'll see. And then it all comes together, continues its track like it did back in 2022 and 2024. I think this is what we could potentially see today. Here's a timeline from 2024, 4 o'clock to 11 o'clock. And boy... This is that time of year where we get them. In this part of the country, we do see, on average, at least one every year. So it's not unusual. And this is the time, Marissa and Stephen, to see those. So again, with the wording, not a storm prediction center, the Rachel possible. And then yeah. you read the National Weather Service office, Aberdeen. Mm -hmm. They get right to the point, talking about the winds, the tornadoes, mm -hmm. and the uh, chance for some large hail there, too. Yeah. I think sometimes if we don't hear tornado, we underestimate how strong and intense these winds can be on their own. Mm -hmm. And uh, we could have a lot of outages, a lot of down exactly. trees, and a lot of damage even with that. So all we can do is wait and see mm -hmm. how it all plays out. Craig, yeah. thank you for that. You got friend. it.